Hello everyone, it's me, Thanos, and I'm back again with another Kaguya Summer Reaction. This time we're moving on to Season 2, and I am very happy to be here. So, recently I just managed to finish Season 1, so this was pretty good timing. And, uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it. I liked the, I liked the show. I didn't realise I was going to like it this much, which is why my reactions only started from Episode 9. Um... But yeah, it's a incredibly funny show, and it's also sweet and touching at times, as it turns out. Although, unfortunately, I guess that part tends to result in <laughs> me just becoming quiet because my when I'm sort of overwhelmed like that, I tend not to react very well because it's all just internally and I'm just silently <laughs> crying inside. Anyway, but no, show is good. It's funny a lot of the time. It's stylish and ridiculous. It's great, and I can't wait to see what happens next. So at the end of season one, we had the very sort of touching um, moment where Shinomiya was, we really found out how sort of deprived she is from just regular human and like friendly interaction and all that sort of thing, despite being in a really nice, or in an elevated family, I guess. She misses out on all of the sort of enjoyments that normal kids get to have. And yeah, it meant a lot to her to go out to try to go to these fireworks with her friends. And yeah, that turned out pretty good. And then we managed to leave on a more humorous note as Shirogane was suddenly started looking back and started feeling embarrassed about how he acted. But no, man, you were cool. That was good, taking charts like that. But yeah, I can imagine that being bold in one moment and then looking back later and thinking, oh my god, what a fool. <laughs> she must think I was such a tool. Um, and then, yeah, a little misunderstanding resulted in him running and her chasing. And it looks like that's where we're starting this season, actually, because the picture that it's showing as the very first frame seems to be the very last frame of the end of the season. So, with that, I've already rambled on long enough. Let's get this started. Okay, so going to be starting Season 2, Episode 1. A reminder that these are full-length, timer-based reactions, which means you're going to need to have your own copy of the show and sync it up. I'll do a countdown and there'll be a timer running, so hopefully you'll be able to easily um, get your copy in time with mine. So do that, watch along with me, and let's enjoy. I will be starting in 3, 2, 1... Uh, <laughs> I love this silent movie sort of uh, thing they were doing at the start. <laughs> that is great. I thought the... Tune sound of Melly. It is a tough job. Wants to stave them off. What is that? The <laughs> Sleep, morning study, school classes. Full on. Ha <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so dramatic. What was your plan? Hey, getting more of Hayasaka is just great, I think. I'm all for it. Whoop. That was great animation of Ishigami just turning around. I wouldn't put it past her to actually be able to do all of the stuff. That sounds vague, but I mean like all of the stuff which looks like it's... Dramatization. <laughs> she probably hasn't moved the whole time. Wait, that was before summer vacation? I thought his hair was black. For a second I was wondering if he was a different person. <laughs> Look at the lighting. Yeah, look at how awkward he looked at the start. That's why I was confused at the end seeing him with the lighter hair. Come on, fireworks was good.
to see if they've experienced Nirvana. <laughs> One in three. She called back to the uh, to that other episode. <laughs> the faces What is he doing? What? That's... Hmm. Okay. <laughs> well, that was quick. Just so matter of fact. <laughs> Can you catch up when you're dead though?
Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my god, too real. <laughs> They're so silly. I was wondering what the wind condition was. If you marry Fujiwara, it will drive you to depression. Him. He's got his game design hat on. Was that before? Ah, uh, right.
Oh, that's nice. Yeah, her heat. Probably helped a little bit to... <laughs> oh, come on. I'm sure she's had... <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh no. <laughs> of course you would know all this. Is in first place. Of course he has. Oh my god, these two. Repulsive. No. Oh. This must be the OP, right? It sounds more like an OP than an ending. I like it. That was good. I enjoyed it. 
Okay, so I guess that the it was a nice way to link up the finale and this one by having it start with the frame that it ended on, but it turns out there wasn't really that much continuation there. It did just end up being the yeah back to normal, more or less, but with some more progression. We got to see the other couple that had been coming to ask for advice before. We found that the boy was being so had become so confident, I guess, because he's trying to become confident because that's the type of guy that she likes. So that's interesting. I guess there's, I don't know, I feel like I want to think more on that. I feel like not being yourself isn't necessarily a good thing, but nor specifically changing for another person. But on the other hand, if you, if there's some extent where you would like to be that person, I don't see anything wrong with trying to change a bit. You know what I mean? Like, if you're changing just as much for yourself, then I feel like that's okay. You know, if you want to become more confident, then I can see you doing it. And if someone happens to have been the inspiration for it, then that seems fine, I think. I don't know. Anyway, that's sort of an interesting thing. But speaking of them, that also made me think of just the other side characters in general. And now that we've had a season, you know, to sort of get to know our main two or four characters, I can see room for being able to introduce more or at least spend a bit more time with the side characters now because we've already, not not because I'm like tired of our main characters, but because we're familiar enough with them that I think they can afford to be able to spend time away without it detracting from Shinomiya and Shiragane. Um, the board game was fun. The birthday, that was, you know, that was just silly and interesting. Of course they're going to be, of course both of them are overthinking it. Of course both of them have looked and done these tests and things. Actually, yeah, same with the board game. Of course they're going to be affected <laughs> as much as they are by all of these sort of fake, you know, events and things happening. You can't help it. I get it. Little funny moment in the last, in the last uh, skit where Chica was, was she doing like you know those things where you've got like the string and you're making the shapes, except without string. <laughs> that seemed what she was like. What she was doing. I don't know. It was a bit strange, but that would be completely in fitting with her personality. I think so. Yes. In the interest of trying to get this done so that I can watch episode 3 when it comes out, I am going to be moving on to episode 2 right away. So, episode 2. Kaguya wants to know, Kaguya wants to give a gift, and Chika Fujiwara wants to confirm it. I will be starting in 3, 2, 1... Daddy, daddy, do. Is this the same? Is this sung by the same same person or same people? That's a new character with, is it? The one with the glasses? The OP is less 
less out there than the first one, but the music is still great. Oh, wow, that's great. So they just kept putting it off that many times. That many times. What? That's that's a little disturbing. She's like her brother, considers everything in terms of how many hours of work, how many units of work, I guess. It's like... Oh, that's right. Tells lies for no reason. Oh no, what a terrible person. Wow. Wow, she really is just, like, unbelievably...
That is one heck of a cake. Her voice, this whole skit has been. Oh no. Kaga, you fool. Kaga, you ice queen. That really is an overwhelming cake.
contribute more to the Shinomiya family. <laughs> I was about to ask, why is the judge child? Uh oh Oh, that's nice. And then she doesn't have to worry about the overwhelming cake. And yielding diligence in one's studies. Oh wow, that is... <laughs> there was no larger cake. Dude, that would be awesome! <laughs> yeah, well done. The narrator is so good.
I don't know whether that really works. My God, you guys. The games. I like, I like the other thoughts. She can't even maintain her cold, like, calculating side while that's- while being distracted by his using the fan. I am so glad that Ishigami was added to this show.
Now we get to see the ending. Okay, so episode two was also good. I can see that we are definitely moving along, like the the story is progressing. And while it does feel like things have sort of gone back to a, a sort of normal, there is still like a definite thread of events, you know. Each of these things happened, def you know, quite clearly sequentially. Um, even though you could probably enjoy them individually there's definitely an effect of you know things carrying over from one episode to the next i mean these were you know quite linked you had the birthday produced the fan the fan was introduced into the next section and all that sort of thing so this is good i'm glad to be seeing more of just yeah other other interactions all that sort of thing show still is funny Still has these nice parts. Um, the OP and the ED do seem more normal than the first season, but I still like the music from them, and they still quite, uh, they're still quite nice. So I like that. But no sort of like weird, crazy events happening in them. Well, that one I get the in the ending. I guess there was like a, the phone did turn into a star, which teleported into a <laughs> her into some strange realm. But that's okay. I think the the fan was a really nice gift. I think. I mean, the cake was a nice thing, but yeah, the fact that she did a fan, which she did the calligraphy herself. That's pretty rad. I like that. Um, so yeah, again, good on them for sort of stepping like a bit further, like in some ways, while also still being themselves and being so, being their own worst enemies when it comes to this, you know, whole relationship thing. So yeah, I'm... Glad to see what happens. I am hoping to see more side characters as well as we progress. Um, but for now, I've just realized that for the second episode, I'm going to need to find a way to sync up video. I mean, even though it's a timer reaction, I do like to occasionally... I like to show it blurred and with subtitles because it makes it a little bit easier if you're trying to sync it up. Um, and also so that I can show just very brief moments, um, just for context as I'm going. So, yeah, that was annoying that I left that blacked out. I wish I'd noticed that. I'll have to add that to my checklist of things that I look for before I hit go. With that, I'll, I'm done. Hopefully I can get this edited and out before 
episode three, but at least I've watched these, which means I can still go ahead and watch episode three as it comes out, even if it does take me a little while to get the videos actually edited and uploaded. So if you'd like to check out the other reactions I've done for this show, which start from season one, episode nine, I'll leave a link to the playlist in the description. If you've got any thoughts on the episode or on the videos in general, please leave a comment down below. And with that, I will see you all next time.